What is going on YouTube fam? Today is Thursday, which means it is 3 Minute Thursdays, and today we're going to be talking about curves, and no, I do not mean curves on the people, boys or girls, I mean color curves. So we're going to get started right after this intro sequence. That's right guys, today we're talking about color curves, and we're going to go really, really, really in depth about how one movement changes all this and that and we're gonna do all of that in three minutes so three minutes on the clock and i'm gonna throw my screen on here for you guys so you guys can see that and we're gonna get started so right here we have a raw image so we're gonna close up everything else we're just gonna be focused right here on these curves if you look here you see these four quadrants the highlights are up here everything white everything bright is this controlled by this up here the closer you get to the top the more highlights you control and right at the bottom is the exact opposite. Now, before we get started on all that, this is the master curve. And you have the individuals reds, greens, and blues, so you can turn down the greens if you want, but we're not gonna focus on that right now. That gets into a whole nother spectrum of using the curves. So today in the curves, we're just gonna be talking about the highlights and the shadows and how you can manipulate them and kind of get the image you want. So this was a Polaroid shoot, so I kind of want to go for a faded look. So for a faded look, I might want to turn those highlights down a little bit, make them darker, make them seem less contrasty, and then bring up the, oh my bad, and then bring up the blacks and make it seem also less contrasty. Now, a lot of techniques that are used are considered this, 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 I just call it the arc, or you have an S curve, and an S curve gives you a lot of contrast. So you pretty much make an S, and I know it doesn't look good right now because this is not the picture to do an S curve with. It's more like street photography. But this is a very popular curve. It's just an arc, you bring the blacks down, and it makes it a little bit darker, a little more contrasty. The darks are darker, the blacks are blacker, and the shadows are just really good. So then you bring the highlights up a little bit and you have a easy neutral standard image already colored and then you can go back and you know nitpick with the basics that's not what i want to do for this image so for this image i have my faded look and i kind of do want to have those blacks blacker and i actually may want to bring those highlights down even more because it's a polaroid look and i'm going for a faded look so i want to bring this highlights up make her seem a little bit white i want to have that polaroid effect so i want to wash out her face so i'm going to bring these highlights up but they're not going to be white highlights because you know it's like a polaroid picture the whites aren't always ex exactly white i'm going to bring those blacks down a little bit and then we can make a median point and kind of control between where they meet and how it goes so like if you over exaggerate you get all of this and you know you just play around with it and kind of just explore it so you just know that this bottom part and the top part what they control the bottom is the darks and the blacks and the top is the whites and the highlights so after that you can kind of just play around and kind of see what you like, see what fits your style, and see what fits the image. So it really depends on what you're doing, but the most popular one is kind of just like this. It kind of just, it's just an arc. And yeah, so that's it about curves for right now. So I hope you guys can take all of that with you and make sure you guys hit that like button and um, leave me a comment below and let me know how do you edit your photos or videos? Do you use like a lighter tone? Do you guys really overexpose that because you know that's your style because hey, I did that and now I also do darker, you know, like I'm kind of trying to try out new things, mix things up and I'm really curious as to how you guys edit your photos. So let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed and I will catch you guys in the next video. So everybody have an amazing day and um, just stay cool guys. All right, I will catch you later. Peace.